This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units, 11K reports code four on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's Garage, code four. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. You ought to meet nobody. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. 
Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. The old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Um, I don't know how to dance the bebop. Sam is taking me. I don't mean to be rude but I've got work to do. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? The school was just starting to warm up nicely. You want a kiss? Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2-boy-8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. Where's that goddamn... Find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp as my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job of a healthy thirst to fend you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor, our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway, unit to handle code 3, identify.
try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. You said I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? 